Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play, and look, we know that The Last of Us Part 1 is now getting a second remaster, second in 10 years, and there's been this debate going on with it, is it a cash grab or not, and let me just answer that for you right now, the answer is yes, it's definitively yes, any game that's had two remasters in less than 10 years since its original launch is a cash grab, regardless of its quality, cash grab, cash grab, cash grab, Last of Us Remaster is a cash grab, or remake, or whatever this one's called. Cash grab. But anyway, let's get into this, and the game has actually gone gold, unfortunately. So Last of Us developer says PS5 Remake is not a cash grab. It is. He's full of shit. Someone annoyed though, being full of shit? It's almost like they've got their leaders leading by example. Neil Druckmann is absolutely full of shit, so why wouldn't some of the developers be full of shit? So remakes and remasters have been a great thing for nostalgic gamers who want to relive their favourite titles but with a more modern feel. Ugh. Games like Star Wars KOTOR remake are highly anticipated due to this, oh god. However, while a remake done right can build upon the original experience of a game and give both old and new fans an enjoyable time, there are those remasters that come across as a quick attempt to gain money from a popular franchise, such as Last of Us. So recently, Last of Us uh, Part 1 on PS5 Remake has been under fire for appearing like a cash grab to some fans. Absolutely, it is a cash grab. So Last of Us PS5 Remake was shown off to fans. Um, there was a mix of excitement with a bit of disappointment. Some were happy to see the game was getting a visual overhaul along with other updates. However, the updates found uh, the graphics of Last of Us to be better than its remake, comparing images from both games online to see which was better. This has, had some, has led some to believing that the game is nothing short of a cash grab. It is a cash grab with a jacked up price. That's the other thing that has to be mentioned in this as well, is that this is the second remaster or remake, whatever the fuck you want to call it, with a fucking jacked up cash prize. They want $70 American for this? Get fucked, man. I'm not buying that. So look, here it is over here. This is from Robert Morrison, who is an animator. It's just a cash grab. Actually, it's the most meticulous build and crafted project I've ever seen or been a part of in my entire career. The highest level of care and attention to detail possible. That doesn't change the fact it's a cash grab. So it's the highest level of care, attention to detail of a cash grab that you've ever worked on. $70 American for the second remaster or remake of a game that's been out for less than 10 years is a cash grab. Simple as that. Why do they never bring up the jacked up price when they talk about this? They just want to talk about graphics overhauls and stuff like that. They never want to mention the fact that there is a, that there is a higher cost for it now. And look over here, we have seen that they're thrilled to announce the last of us part one has gone gold. Congratulations to the dogs and our partners. Oh my god. Uh, PlayStation who contributed their passion and talent for growing the world of the last of us. Holy shit. Now look, the question has to be asked. How much of the story will be changed? Will it be none of it? Will it be a lot of it? Is it going to flow a little bit more tightly into Last of Us Part 2, or is it just going to be the same game with a, a graphics overhaul, which would be the best case scenario, but there's still the jacked up cash point over that. Overall, look, to keep it simple, it is a cash grab. Regardless of what anyone at Naughty Dog says, Last of Us Part 1 Remake is a cash grab. Simple as that. But do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play, and check out geeksandgamers.com, and I'll see you all in the next video.